A lot of the most impressive pictures we've seen so far have been of those big waves crashing against the beaches in our coastal communities. While well, the effect of Sandy's storm surge is also taking an effect on tidal rivers like the Pocomoke here in Worcester County. Water is rising rapidly, already threatening to cover roadways and bridges like the Porter's Crossing Bridge here between Newark and Snow Hill. From the back roads to the main roads like Route 113 in Worcester County, conditions were getting worse by the minute. In downtown Snow Hill, signs were already out, warning drivers of high water and water on the roadways. In an area where even lesser storms have been known to drive the Pocomoke River over its banks, local residents were buckling down even more with the threat of Sandy. I'm getting a little gas, getting a little milk, getting ready to go. Water's already coming up here in Snow Hill. Here, right here, where, I mean, we're used to the water getting up pretty high. Um, I don't plan on being out long because it's going to get worse as the day goes along, so get what I need and get back home. Well, we haven't even seen the worst of this storm yet, and already driving conditions have deteriorated pretty bad. I've got the waterproof camera up on the roof so you can see what I'm seeing. Yeah, the rain is going to cause visibility issues. The wind gust will push you from side to side a bit. There's debris out on the road like leaves and sticks. And check this out right here. This is becoming more common, I'm finding. Water from fields encroaching right onto the roadway and that'll sneak up on you. Now by 10 o'clock this morning, I'd already seen several situations like this where ponds on local farms have spilled over, creating bubbling brooks like this right along the roadway. And the more this happens, the more spillover onto the roads we'll have, and the more hazardous driving conditions and conditions in general will become. Woo. Reporting from Worcester County, I'm Mike Parker, WBOC News. Well, I'm here at the Porter's Crossing Bridge in Worcester County, which sits between Newark to the north and Snow Hill to the south. Definitely not one of the biggest bridges as far as traffic volume goes, but a really well-known landmark, especially to local fishermen. And if you remember, we were here yesterday when we saw prior to Sandy's landfall that the Pocomoke River was slowly beginning to rise. We'll take a look at it today. You can truly see what the hurricane's impact has been on tidal rivers like this. Amazingly, the bridge itself isn't covered by water, but on the roadway on either side of it for hundreds of yards, you'll find depths of up to three feet. Now, this is like boat depth water, meaning you could drive a boat in it. Take a look. Got, got my waders on and the tide has been rising so quick. I wasn't actually sure. I was kind of worried if I parked my car far enough from the water so that if in case the tide was rising, it'd still be there when I got back. Luckily, <laughs> it's still there. Whew. And good thing too, because this wasn't my only stop. In downtown Snow Hill, the Route 12 bridge crossing the Pocomoke was also closed to traffic as this living natural river exceeded its banks. These are my special rain boots that I like to make. <laughs> These are the redneck engineering rain boots. <laughs> and for those out enjoying their newest piece of local history, it was also a chance to cure some cabin fever. We don't have any power. I mean, I feel like we're quite literally like living on the river, like they say, <laughs> Snow Hill is. But it's crazy out here, but there's nothing better to do, so I guess we just thought we'd play in it. <laughs> and while the tide will eventually drop and bridges like the one here at Porter's Crossing will eventually reopen to traffic, with downed trees like this one now up and down the Pocomoke, the impact on people who enjoy rivers like this recreationally for activities like kayaking and fishing is yet to be felt. And it could be a very long time until things are back to normal. Reporting in Worcester County, I'm Mike Parker, WBOC News. Well, right now, the road leading into Assateague Island State Park and National Seashore looks something like this. Big down trees and park rangers at the entrance telling people to turn around. Evidence from Hurricane Sandy's damaging winds can be seen about a half mile away from the park entrance along Assateague Road, where crews were busy on Tuesday morning cleaning up tree debris and fixing power lines. Yeah, park closed. They're going to be closed for a definite period of time here. Meanwhile, the park remains completely closed off to the public and only authorized personnel is able to get through orange barriers at the discretion of the park rangers standing guard. Well, right now we're in the phase where we're going to have to go in and assess exactly what's occurred. Uh, but before we can do that, the Verrazano Bridge, which is directly behind me there, we really need to get that uh, certified by engineers to make sure it's safe to cross. We do not need to uh, 
run the risk of injuring anybody um, just to assess the island. Um, the island's been there for thousands of years. It'll be there for quite a long time more, and uh, we're not willing to run the risk of anybody going over that bridge until it's certified. Now, while the island remains closed, national park officials say they understand people are curious. They want to know how the island held up during the storm. And of course, they're concerned about the wild pony population and other wildlife over on Assateague. Yeah, well, the wild horses of Assateague Island, I mean, they, when something like this happens, they just uh, you know, find a good place to hunker down. And it's been my experience that they've held it out just fine. Hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. Now, National Park officials say they understand people are curious about how the island held up during the storm. And of course, they're concerned about the wildlife, including the pony population. But they do say this understand Assateague is designed to be a natural island. And while devastating, there's nothing more natural than what just happened with Hurricane Sandy. Reporting from Assateague Island in Worcester County, I'm Mike Parker, WBOC News. So for now, I'm going to have to be your eyes out here. As earlier today, I got some exclusive access riding along with the National Park Service as we assess just how Hurricane Sandy has impacted this beloved natural island. For the first time since Sandy made landfall, on Wednesday, authorized vehicles were allowed to cross the Verrazano Bridge leading onto Assateague. Well, in terms of the road here, not bad. Rachel Dagnot with the National Park Service was also assessing the storm's impact for the first time and made it clear that on a natural island, what happens after a natural event like okay, Sandy is. isn't all to be considered damage. When we talk about the island, we're talking about changes that we expect to occur, impacts that change the environment. When we talk about our developed areas, we're talking about buildings. And boardwalks, like this one on the island's bay side, and this section of parking lot reduced to chunks. On our way to inspect the ocean side of the island, we see one of the encouraging signs we've been waiting for. Resilient wildlife like this white-tailed deer have weathered the storm, as have the herd of wild horses so dear to so many. The, the horses have been here for 300 years. Uh, they've not only survived that period, they have thrived during that period. It will take some time to determine where each of the bands is and, uh, and what's occurred uh, while we've been gone. On the coast, white sand has been blown from the surface, leaving heavier black grains in its place. And what looks like a seashell scavenging paradise also bears its scars. Years ago, someone with very good intentions strapped together a bunch of old car tires to form an artificial reef offshore. Well, nature had other plans. And you can see there are now hundreds of these old tires that have come to rest on the beach. While it could take weeks to clean up trash and debris from beaches and roads, Sandy's impact on Assateague isn't as bad as perhaps it could have been. And portions of the state park are set to reopen Thursday morning, with the national park on schedule for a noontime Friday reopening. Reporting from Assateague Island in Worcester County, I'm Mike Parker, WBOC News.